Hey everyone, what about here, and welcome to Floppy Nights, or welcome back if you caught any of my previous coverage for this game. It is a absolutely adorable tactical deck builder, uh, somewhere between like Fire Emblem and Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, but with uh, deck builder aspects to it, and also the art style from Dicey Dungeons, effectively. Uh, this is the same artist, and uh, the studio actually helped work on Dicey Dungeons as well. So before anybody's like, they stole the art style, and it's like, yeah, they stole the artist. In fact, it's kind of the reverse. But, Phoebe, is it complete yet? Just a sec, Carlton. Advanced robotics are not that simple. I have waited an entire week. It only took you a month to make me. Implementing an upgrade for me... Oh, implementing an upgrade for me should only take 30 minutes maximum. 30 minutes? Are your math processors broken? Relax. Almost there. Just a few more screws and then... Alright, you're ready. Ready for what? This just finished installing a floppy disk drive on you. What does this floppy disk do? You're about to find out. I put a very special program on this one. Ooh, can we test it out? Sure can. Fascinating. Look at that little guy. I call them floppy knights. They're tangible projections I made by sequencing elemental magic into code. They can touch things, grab stuff, and in this one's case, kick my tools. Mom and dad are always on me to take on a magic profession. But I keep telling them magic is overrated and science is the real magic. I was thinking these floppy knights could help us take on odd jobs around the town. Let me show you how to use them, Carlton. I am ready whenever you are. So I've played this game a couple of times now. However, it's finally out on Steam. Uh, fully as opposed to just demos. So I figured I'd give it one more shot uh, before I just play it for myself. God, I love the animation. Alright, let's go over the basics, Carlton. Loading training simulation. I hate tutorials and I wish I could skip it. You don't need to say loading training simulation for it to work, you know. Correct, however, it is important to have fun while you work. Alright. Please tell me there's a button to just disregard tutorial. Nope. Well, I'll just mash button. Brrrr. Tutorial. There we go. Okay. Oh, plow ahead. Unit gains plus one speed this turn, move this unit. Well, that's kind of neat. I just... Having played this demo and game multiple times now, the instruction is... I mean, technically appreciated, but also not terribly necessary for me. I love how weird and squishy all the art style... Or, all the art style? The art style just is in general. Phoebe, that was incredible. We are so powerful. Everything worked perfectly. We should try this out on a real gig. I estimate we're ready to take on a job and make some sick cash. I love when you use human phrases, Carlton. Let's go. Mom, Dad. Phoebe, I hope we're not interrupting anything. Your mother and I wanted to talk. About how I need to get a job, I know. You told me like a million times. Phoebe, you're 16 years old. You've been shut up here tinkering away at all this stuff for so long. We're worried about you, honey. I demand you get out there and enjoy life. Take on some responsibility. Get a job. It'll be great for you. You might even make a few, few friends. I have friends, Mom. I have Carlton. Yes, but you built Carlton. No offense, dear. None taken. Listen, I have a plan, so I won't have to get some boring job. I'll even make enough money to buy my own place. Wow, your own house, huh? You really do have lofty goals. Everyone my age is doing it. I can't fall behind. Uh, everyone my age is not buying houses. <laughs> I've made an invention that'll help us take on work. I've completed it in just in time for the Gadget Cup competition, too. If I win that first place, first place cash prize, I'll have the cash I need. The Gadget Cup. That's that science tournament they hold in town every year, right? Right, and this year I'm finally old enough to compete. We'll make some quick cash if we win. You know, having res regular responsibilities and people that depend on you isn't such a bad thing. I've been able to use my fire magic to do all the smithing for all of Toggle Town. And everyone loves her for it. We're always inundated with thank you cakes. We had to we had to get a second fridge. Phoebe, we're really proud of how talented you are with all this technology stuff. But if this plan of yours doesn't work, you'll have to go work as a blacksmith with your mother. At least until you find something more stable. Fine. This'll work though. I've already got our first job lined up for us. Just give me a couple of days. We'll leave you to it, honey. I... the millennial experience. 
Get a job. Yeah, but the job suck. Get a job. No. All right. Outskirts. I think about that sometimes, how much of a waste my, <laughs> my high school jobs were. I learned nothing and gained no skills. We're here. The job board said to meet at this farm on the outskirts of town. I wonder who our client is. Ooh, it all sounds so official. Client. Job. Look at us, Phoebe. Soon we'll no longer be an unnecessary burden on your parents. Jeez, Carlton. We really need to work on your bedside manner. Can I help you? Uh, hey, are you the one who posted the job? Yep, you must be Phoebe. I thought you said there'd be two of you. There are two of us. I am Carlton, an artificially intelligent arm created by Phoebe. Yeah, that's great. Uh, right, what seems to be the problem? It says here on the job posting that you're, uh, terrorized by vegetarian goblins? Listen, kid, I try to keep a tight farm, but every day those forest goblins are snatching up all my crops. Perhaps we could grow you some more carrots. How hard could it be? That sounds like a lot of work, Carlton. I just need you to keep watching. Keep them away from my crops. I love keeping watch. I do not need to even blink, so I'm very proficient at it. Okay, but I'm gonna need some kind of down payment. Here. Uh, seeds? I make cash. What am I supposed to do with these? You can make a lot of money planting those. Now, go take care of my goblin problem. Fine, but you better leave a good tip when we're done here. Carl Carlton will post up over by there by the target sighted. What? The goblins are right over there. I told you I'm proficient in keeping watch. Haha, <laughs> check it out, fellas. I don't know what kind of magic this lady is using to make food come out of the ground, but I'm just loving it. Let's fill the bags up. Those little punks. What are you waiting for? Go get them. Boy, this is easier when I had Shell to do all the voices, but... I just, just win this battle, defeat all enemies. Well, that's easy enough. Hello, fools. All right, so what do we have? We also have Succulent Kicker, Adds Kick and Hop. Kick and Hop. Okay. So we have Move Unit Destroy. There we go. That's how it's done. Now, how far can she move? I have no idea. going to keep moving here. I seem to have plenty of energy. Oops. There we go. Perfect. So how much energy do I get then? Because I thought I used to only gain three, but it seems like I pulled off a lot more moves. I get five now. Oh. Move unit, flip to reap. And see, unit also gains two attack. Move here. There we go. Attack an enemy. Flip to so. Hmm. I guess I'm just gonna move back. Because I could go back and reap and so, but this guy was just a little bit tougher. That's fine. Or they just kind of are going to sit there. Sure, why not? That also works. There we go. Boy, I'm loving all this extra movement speed that I've got. Go for the bonus attack. It will not survive this day. And then we just end turn. Yeah, those guys are... I guess they probably will only move if I'm within range. Maybe. I've observed that some terrain will give our units a bonus. Yep. Yeah, so like I said, it does kind of share some very light fire emblem mechanics here. I, I don't know. I rather appreciate. I'm just gonna wait. This guy will come hit me, but only for a damage. Yeah, we're good. And we have a plus. There we go. Health, health and attack. Attack is five. Well, that's a thing. 
I don't spawn with it. Alright, if I don't get any attack cards, I kind of can't do anything. Can't wait until we actually get more cards that I can mess around with. So, you know, I can actually fight properly here. There we go. Nice and quick. Defeat all enemies. We get Spatunia and upgrade a plants card in your hand. Destroy. Take it. I know you can upgrade these cards. Maybe out of combat? Anyway. Well, leave us alone, you stinky losers. Who are you calling a loser? Hey, you little twerps, cut it out. Those are mine. Uh oh, the angry lady's here. Hurry up. Grab as much as you can and scram. Don't just stand there and chase after them. Hey, pretty sure that's out of our scope of work. As if you didn't scare them all. You're they're gonna be back as soon as you leave. Man, I thought this is gonna be easy. I'm paying you to get to the root of this problem. Is that some vegetable humor? Ha! Nice. Go. Jeez, okay, we're going. Okay, so we have cards. So I can swap out some of the stinky, not so useful cards and grab some other things instead. Oh yeah, I only have like two attack cards. Go figure. Or wait, 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 wait. Oh, her specialty card would have actually let me attack, wouldn't it? Well, I'm gonna swap out two of these movement cards. I've already always have a movement card. There's not really a whole lot of reason for me to... Uh, uh, let's see. If I always get one movement card per round, there's probably not a whole lot of reason for me to stack them. Or stack too many extra movement cards? I don't know. Anyway. Oof. Man, they got little legs, but they can run fast. It's really too bad you don't have super strong robotic legs. Carlton, we've been over this. I'm not going full bionic woman. But I am so strong. Being a robot is so cool, you really should try it. Good grief. Aha! Good grief. Humans say the weirdest things. Phoebe, look. You're using a communication device. Do you think there are other goblins that they're, they're allied with? Are you saying there are more of them somewhere? Good grief. Let's deal with these twerps. I want to get paid as quickly as possible. I believe this is a reinforcements pad. To win this battle, wreck that thing. Okay, watch out for the enemy spawner. Unit gains... Oh no! Unit gains plus one speed this turn, move the unit. Doesn't actually attack. Well, that's fine. Upgrade a plants card in your hand. Is that like any of these? So, thorns is cheaper, but can only be used once. Move an extra tile, and Reap Plus does more. Otherwise, we could get the kicker. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I've still got a couple extra. We could also do a sow and reap, but I think I'm gonna go with thorns. Let's see, plow ahead. Move here. Oh, there was kick plus, which I realized could have let me do some extra damage. I think it'll be fine though. Oh, the trees only give you, like, a shield. Oh! Okay. So this guy hurts a little bit more than I thought it, thought they would. Okay, and I don't have enough... I don't have enough movement to necessarily survive here. I think I might actually have to retry, le retry level. Okay, so let's try this again. This time, I think I might try to be a little bit more aggressive. Maybe, we have reap, we have a little bit. How much attack do we have? Four. Okay, so I I can hit these guys. Oh. There we go. Oh, he didn't die. Oh, because he's on a tree. 
And the problem is this guy has an attack of four. So yeah, I'll lose again. Okay, so let's try let's try getting this Petunia down. I was really hoping I could actually do other things. But I think this is gonna work. Here's the question. What is his range? Rough. Hmm. Because this guy can hit here. These guys can't. So instead of using this Petunia, I'm going to go here. And we're just going to hit this guy. This one's going to come help attack, but can't do anything else. All right, there we go. But yeah, the, the Sluby Goblin is something I need to be a little worried about. All right, cards. What do we have? So I have a grow. Grab that. Kick plus. Grab that. Uh, let's see. Thorns on them. And while I could do a plow ahead, maybe that's not the wisest. He does a stupid amount of damage. I mostly want to just be able to hit him hard on the next round. Okay, let's move there. Cause he He's actually gonna be able to hit us. But his name actually is like Sloopy Goblin. I thought I made that up, but I don't know. Guess I wasn't paying full attention here. Okay. And there is also this one. Hop hop or hob bopper doesn't actually do that much damage. Wait. If I sow and then I reap. Five damage. And then I sow and I reap. Oops. You know, in retrospect, I could have actually just hit this. I think I think I can actually just kill it on this round. Perfect. Yeah, because I I only have to hit the satellite. I don't I don't need to fight this slube. Well, we get barrel cactus. So airy attack adds cactus juice and also branch out. Attack an enemy with this unit is currently on a forest tile plus one damage. Oh, that's pretty good. I repeat, the losers are here. We're retreating to the river. Where do you think you're going? I'm looking at them right now. They look stinky and mean. Be advised to take caution should you see them. Goblins, fall back. How dare they? We're not stinky or mean. We are nice and cute. Oh, now they made it personal. Come on, Carlton. We're going to finish this job no matter what. Let's stop these veggie thieves and get our money. And a sincere apology. Verbally and in writing. Way ahead of you. Okay, so we can craft some cards of our own. Let's make some new cards. Okay, so we have money. So I can make a succulent kicker for free. So we might as well. What else do we have? Unit gains plus two max HP. Attack an enemy boost. Boost. Every time this card is played, it turns into a stronger version of itself. Seed sword. Draw a card, gain one energy. I mean, these sound pretty good. I'm going to go for tree folk, rock, and seed sword. Okay. Get rid of the attack. We might as well grab Seed Sword at the very least. Uh, let's see. Do we do anything else? Do I want to throw these on? I don't. I think I'll skip some of these. Ooh. And no, the Succulent Kicker is good. I don't want to overflow my deck too much, but I don't know. Maybe it's fine. I mean, a number of these are temporary cards anyway. Rivals. Did they head this way? 
I believe so. I... Well, 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 well. Looky here. Oh, dear. That voice. Fancy seeing you here, Phoebes. Alex. <laughs> Snarlton. What are you two doing here? Can't you see we're in the middle of something? Exactly. Word around town is that you're testing out your new invention for the Gadget Cup. Now that we're both old enough to enter... Alex and I wanted to size up the competition we'll be beating tomorrow. Unlikely. You two are nothing but a couple of copycats. Ah, uh, it will be us who win the Gadget Cup. Alex, you rip off my inventions all the time. Darlton over there is proof. Just observing this inferior monitor display really gets my goat. I will have you know that Alex programmed me to be far superior to your obsolete specs. Oh yeah? Prove it. Do long division right now. Alex, will you just get out of here? We're trying to finish a job and... Ah! Finally joined civil civilized society and got yourself a job, eh? Are you moving out of your parents' house? Took you long enough. You know, you never accepted the invite to my housewarming party at my new centrally located bungalow. It has crown molding. God, buzz off. No way, we'll settle this right now. Your crummy little science fair project versus my weaponized slimes. Finally, I'll prove who's the best inventor who the best inventor in town really is. No more Phoebe's so smart. Phoebe's such a talented engineer. Phoebe has the cutest eyebrows. Get ready to see what it feels like to be second place, Phoebes. They have the same eyebrows. How do you suppose we should proceed, Phoebe? I don't think there's any way around it, Carlton. We gotta kick her butt so we can finish this goblin job. There's no convincing her when she gets like this. <laughs> I see vegetables. Which I am confused by. To win this battle, defeat the enemies. Cool. Oh, cat and thistle. So what do we got? Uh, let's see. It appears as though the goblins left some left behind some vegetables. Okay, so we get extra rewards if we get to the veggies before the slimes. Alright, so I'm gonna play the sucking link kicker. Because that gives me the ability to move. Do thorns. Seed sword. I'm curious about how that boost works. But I don't have enough... I don't have enough juice to do anything else. How far can he move? Dang far, actually. But not that much damage. Do we just do it? I think I'll be fine. Oh, he's a ranged unit. Ouch. I still think I'll be fine. Okay, so we've got a couple. We do have the tree folk rock. But I think I'm gonna move here. Uh, let's see, what is his range? Okay. Nothing to worry about. And I could do more. Grab the veggies. Oh, which gave us some healing. That works even better. Okay, I should still do five damage here. Alright. So we have a grow. We can get barrel cactus. Or no, let's upgrade the barrel cactus. Uh, let's see. We might as well get him down. Cactus juice, restore 5 HP. And that ain't going anywhere. Hmm. And my big problem is... This guy's gonna come hit me and I'm not gonna be able to do much about it. I think I'm just gonna let him. I guess I should have moved right next to him. But this way he doesn't have the forest. Not that that's much of an issue in retrospect. Oh. Okay. Do I want to do that, or do I want to just re- Yeah, 
my problem is I don't have that much juice. But I think this is fine. Because I'm just going to reap that guy. And then these guys don't have much for range. So if we sow, we go back here. He's going to hit me, but I think I get my heal on the next turn. There. Okay, we don't take too much. They are coming for me. And they do have friends. Love the animations and the slimes. It's very creepy rhythmic. Pardon me? Wow. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna eat it. I guess I should've... Ah, oh, I should've moved the barrel cactus. Well, let's see if I get something useful. Okay, we're starting with the cactus juice. And we have reap. We do have plow ahead. What if I hit this guy? I don't have any energy. I probably should have done reaping so. Instead of the kick. Because that would have given me some movement. This got dire. But it's fine. Okay, so if I just move back here. I'm just going to move the cactus in. Because he doesn't need to live. So I'm just going to roll him up. They are going to take some pot shots at him. As long as my commander doesn't get killed, I have nothing to worry about. Okay. Give me some cards. Oh, I know. I know why our current draw is scuffed. Go ahead. Reap. Let's see. Kick. And then so. Let's just get out of here. Unfortunately, we're gonna draw nothing but movement cards. We... My discard and my movement are near identical here. Oh, but... He does retaliation damage, he doesn't do enough though. And yeah, we're gonna draw non-stop movement cards, which is kind of brutal here. I guess I'll just have him flee. Flee to be right there. Alright. It's fine. I just we got really unlucky with the with the draw and discard currently being handed to us. Okay, so we have Reap. But if we move her in, we should be able to do the Reap and so. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's enough. And we're just gonna heal him up. I think we're gonna get one more slime popping in, but it's fine. Well, I say it's fine. Okay, so he can only move so far. So if you just back, back up one, we're good. I'd say it's fine, but once again, uh, Troll RNG has decided that no, I don't get to do anything here. It's a little stinky. At least I know exactly what cards I'm getting. It's just, oh, it lined up in the worst possible way. But it's okay. Go down here. 
go for a reap. I appreciate that I've been through this before, but there are changes. I feel challenged and uh, there are enough, like, there's enough new content to make it interesting that uh, I'm still engaged. Oh, is this possible? Your dumb little freaks destroyed all of our weaponized slimes. Alex, just give it up already. You'll always be two steps behind me. Mark my word, words, Phoebes. You may have won this time, but the gadget cup will be a whole different story. Snarlton, let's go. We have some adjustments to make before our grand victory. <laughs> well, we can give her top marks for effort, I guess. At least we dealt with that little interruption. BB, I'm all for standing around basking in our own glory, but we really must get a move on. All right, all right, crack the whip, Carlton. Let's track down some goblins. Ah, I don't have quite enough money for sunshine, because that would have solved probably most of my problems on that last round, but whatever. I'm gonna add one more card to the list. I guess we might as well add the Bamboomer, because that'll solve issues. All right, so last level. Hey losers, I'm impressed you made it this far, but this is our turf. What is this place? This here is the fun zone and losers like you will just stink it up. I suggest moving along before we have to get tough with you. You're not gonna stop us from taking that magical ground food. We were sent here to stop you. Even if it means we have to conquer your fun zone. Yeah, we're gonna stink it all up. All right, we'll do this the hard way. Don't say I didn't warn you. All right, so I've got a control point, if I can take it. Win this battle, but a bit Reach the stronghold, defeat all the enemies. Well, area is quite large. So, unfortunately, it's happened again. Wait, 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 I have a solution. If I hit retry, I'm gonna have to see that dialogue again, but it does reset what cards I start with. Not starting with an attack is rough. I like the music here. It's real good. Nice and bloopy. Right, I actually have to put my character down. All right, this is a this is a lot better, in fact. So how do we want to do this? Because we've got the boom bamboo remove an extra unit tile if they're currently on a forest. So Petunia gives a poison shot. Okay. I'm gonna do Tree Folk Rock, Plow Ahead, Seed Sword. And we kind of want to avoid hitting this guy. We'll lure the other one down just by existing. Carlton, look! A deactivated deployment zone. If we put a unit there, we can get online. Yeah, so effectively it's a new spot where I can summon units. Does look like they have reinforcements, but as long as I've got that Barrow Cactus heal in relatively short order, I think we'll be okay. Oh, there's the Barrel Cactus and Grow. I like the idea of upgrading the Barrel Cactus just for the extra Grow. Okay, let's just do Cactus Juice Plus, not that it changes too much. I'm actually going to invest in him. Giving him an AoE sounds like, like a really good idea. Now the real question is... Oh, I'm out of energy. Never mind, can't do anything. Okay, the damage upgrades used to be endless. I remember doing this map with an infinite amount of damage boost, and it was great. Okay, so what do we have? Reap and Sow. Alright. He hasn't taken any damage. I'm just gonna have him kinda chill. And we'll cactus juice them. I guess I could have probably actually gotten the succulent down, but it's fine. I kind of want to bait them so they're hitting the barrel cactus. 
So his next round, he can go full aggro here. Whew. That hurt a smidge. I will want to get him out of there. But at least we can take out three schmucks, especially if we get the boost. Or, you know, we just don't. Okay, let's have him plow ahead. We're just gonna... We're just gonna run back. It works! I'm just... Ooh, card RNG sometimes just is not my friend. The budding sword. We got some, eh. Not exactly what I had in mind, but I'll take it. And these guys only do one damage, so we don't we don't need to worry about anything with them. It's his range. I guess it doesn't really matter if it does one damage, no matter what. Aha! You thought you'd be useful here. You are not. How much damage does Spatunia do? Only two. Well. What if I do... What if I do a sew on him, move him up? And we're going to have them reap. And so and reap again. And then we have the cactus juice. Perfect. Okay, we're clearing them out. The uh, the two tough goblins are a little, di a little dicey, but maybe I'll be fine. They only do three damage. Yeah. I'm actually gonna get the succulent kicker down, I think. So I want to do a budding sword. Hmm. Or poison shot for the next. Okay, can't do anything else, but I don't think we're going to take any losses. Okay, and they're not coming for me. We're good. Hopefully I'll gain the ability to heal. I do not. Move unit. It's on a forest tile, move two extra tiles. Well, I have nothing I can do here, so I guess we're just gonna wait. The hammer, hammer user is gonna die of poison at the very least. Don't have to worry about them. Okay, it seems like we're just getting a deluge of endless, very weak goblins. Which is kind of perfect for me. Okay. What range does she have? Better than I'd like. We're just going to move here, or we're just going to wait. I need that cactus juice before I feel brave enough to advance. Okay, give me that sweet cactus juice. Unfortunately, have we managed to... We have. Guess I'm just going to move back here again. Okay, though, maybe we'll cycle our cards in a little bit. Because, yeah, we keep drawing the attack cards and then the movement cards again. It looks like it's a little bit more varied. Good. Okay. Woo! Oh. Revert. And we'll change back to its original form when played. Uh, 
Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. What is his range? Because we kind of want to bait that one out. Because if I can get the slinger down, we'll be in a good spot. It looks like the sloobs can't do anything. How much damage do we do? Four. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to... I'm going to be able to attack twice here. Maybe only once. I have no idea. But with the cactus juice, we're fine. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to plow ahead. We're just going to bring him up. Not worry about anything. There we go. Oh, I guess he's a complication, but not a huge one. Please give me a decent attack card. Well, I won't lie, I'm a little disappointed. But I think we kill her anyway. Yeah, we're good. Oh, we've reactivated the deployment zone. Now we can deploy our units closer to those goblins. Turn a unit to your hand. Delete. Hmm. What do I want to add? The, kind of the cactus? Can't do much with it. But it'll get us a second cactus juice. At the very least. And then all we have left is the Sluby Goblin, who can't really do too much. Is it perfect? It is perfect. I'm just going to go stand on that. Because there's no real benefit for me to be hitting these enemies repeatedly. I think what I'm going to do is actually just move somebody on to sit on that teleporter. I could go touch the flag, if I wanted to. Okay. But instead, we will go for the kill. Die, potato. And he dead. Alright. Easy win. And we get Vera, who I believe is a different starting character, restores 1 HP to other units every turn, cycle sunbathe, and then we get 20 money. No, no, the fun zone, it's ruined. Listen to me, you've got to stop taking that poor farmer's food. But how else are we supposed to get magic ground food? Uh, here. What's this, bunch of little boogers? They're seeds, vegetables aren't magic ground food, they're just plants. Put some here and you can grow your own food. What? Well, what? Really? That's it? Tell you what, I'm gonna take half of this huge stash of veggies you stole. You can keep the other half. I'll just tide you over till you grow your own, but in return you have to leave that farmer alone, okay? That is a good deal too. If I had my way with you, I would have incinerated you with my laser eyes. Maybe you're not such losers after all. Okay, it's a deal. Come on, Carlton, let's go retrieve our cash money. Haha, uh -huh, yeah, let us get our sick cash. I have to admit, I didn't think you'd pull it off. Whoa, don't sneak up on me like that. Excuse me, were you following us? I just wanted to make sure you got the job done properly is all. And it did, here's your payment. Payment, thank you, this is great. Thanks for taking care of my goblin problem. Those floppy knights of yours are pretty handy. You're that kid from town who's always making those inventions, aren't you? That's me, we're gonna enter the gadget cup. And emerge victorious. Ah, didn't you hear? The Gadget Cup's been cancelled. What? Did my audio input capture just fail? Did you say the competition has been cancelled? How? Why? Cinder Cliff Volcano's been acting up lately. Falling rocks and all that. Fairgrounds are in the blast zone, so they had to cancel. Phoebe, my database indicates that Cinder Cliff Volcano is from the next town over. It is. Come on, we have to go check this out. Thanks for the money, ma'am. Sure thing. Good luck. 
I remember her being way ruder in the original Early Access version, but whatever. Yes, Phoebe, look, there is a notice on the sign. Cancelled due to unexpected nearby volcanic activity causing safety concerns. We have cancelled the Gadget Cup competition. Do we have to win that prize? How else are we going to get the cash to move out? Well, we could just work on regular job, uh, work a regular job for a number of years and invest our savings in. No, 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 the competition cannot be cancelled. We have to do something about this. Come on, Carlton. Let's make our way to Cindercliff right away and see what's up with the volcano business. All right, and that's episode one. Phoebe, I'm receiving a message from an unknown contact. Oh, hello, Phoebs. I got your number from your parents. Did you know they think we're friends? Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> anyway, I finally come up with a master plan to prove my superior intellect. I have crafted the most ingenious challenges for you and your silly little knights. I've even made the decks you'll be using, because I know you'll need the help. Why don't you try them out? Unless, of course, you're worried you'll fail. Later. <laughs> Okay, so we have random challenge maps. I uh, are are there bonuses or is it just challenges for the sake of it? To win this challenge, defeat all the enemies. I'm curious if I unlock anything new by doing this. Oh. Okay. His range. Okay, so as long as I don't move too far, I'm fine. Okay, I should have enough for a pair of these suckers. Now, I think I can get up in here. I guess these are going to burn. I'm just going to kick that guy. What's his range? We're just going to go back. I guess one of my little kickers is going to die. That's okay. Oh! Well, never mind. Oh well, it's fine. I don't really feel like doing challenge modes at the moment. I wonder if you unlock new cards with it. I've got to assume that's the case. But, whew, those are going to be challenging all the same. I got too greedy, but it's fine. So, anyway, uh, this is Flopping Nights. I Hopefully a number of you guys have already seen this, which I guess might be kind of unfortunate because a number of people who have already seen this might actually just skip the video, and that's always the price you got to pay by covering things in advance. But I will say I absolutely adore this game. Uh, there aren't a whole lot of good deck builders out there, and this one ranks as probably one of the highest. It's got, it's got a banging soundtrack, lovely visuals. Marlo Dobbs is incredible. And the story itself is, I don't want to say unremarkable, it's just kind of charming and fun. Uh, even if, you know, I don't see anything that's particularly special, apart from the fact that I feel seen. I was really hoping I could actually check what other plant decks there are, but I can swap my commander out if I wanted to. So yeah, we can get Vera in instead. Sunbathe, move a unit, restore one HP. Neat. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can do anything else with this. By type. Is this just, ah, sorting it. By deck, by type. And alphabetical. Cool. I know there's other decks. Possibly one for every region on the map? I, I know there's a fire deck for sure. And I wouldn't be surprised if there isn't a deck for each, each and every one of these that you unlock. You know, you get a champion in the beginning and a champion at the end, and I don't know, anyway. Uh, with all that said, Floppy Nights is 20 bucks on Steam, down to 18 for launch week, and is also available on Game Pass. So if you guys got Game Pass, you can just try this out now. Uh, is it on other platforms? Floppy Nights. Let me double check. Uh, Xbox One, Windows, and Mac. So it doesn't look like it's on Switch yet. This feels like a, a banging game to put on the Switch, in my opinion, but maybe that'll be later. Anyway, uh, for now, I think it's incredible, and I hope some of you guys give it a shot after uh, after seeing this video. But either way, if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe, because I've got tons of them to check out. Literally endless amounts. But with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.